Hi friends, I hope you're all well. We miss you. Um, I wanted to read you a book. This is one of my favorite books. It's called The Paper Princess. It's one of my daughter's favorite books too. And I know what you're thinking, that you might not like princesses. And it's not really my thing either, but this princess is a little bit different. A little girl sat in the sunshine drawing a princess. The princess's dress was like the forest. Her socks were like the starry skies and her shoes were like watermelons. Her face was so friendly and brave that the little girl loved her. I love her watermelon shoes. What kind of hair should I give my princess? The little girl wondered as she cut the princess out. Yarn hair would be soft, she said, offering the princess a cracker. Cotton hair would be fluffy, she thought, taking the princess for a ride. Whoosh! The wind sent the princess flying. Wait! The girl chased after her. I didn't finish you! I'll finish myself! The princess called in a voice so thin and new as she was. There she goes. You can tell one side's not done yet. But I want to play with you, the little girl cried. You're the best thing I ever made. Don't blow away. The princess tried to fly back to the girl, but the wind carried her the other way. So she waved goodbye. The summer salted through the air, over the meadow, meadow and over the river. What kind of hair should I give myself? The princess wondered as she tumbled through the sky. Cloud hair is too soft, she thought, trying a little on. Blossom hair smells too sweet, she sneezed. Candy wrapper hair is too crinkly. She threw the candy wrapper off and sailed on, bald as the man on the moon. Arriving at a carnival, a boy on a Ferris wheel caught her. There she is. Hand in hand, they rolled around. The princess loved the ride, the colored lights, the stars, the jingling music, the warmth of the little boy's hand. Hello up there, the boy's mother called. The boy waved back, dropping the princess. The wind caught her up again. Hang on one second. The phone's ringing. It's my brother. And this story has a brother in it too. It carried her into town, past houses smelling of supper, past children playing with dolls, past parents tucking their children into bed. The princess saw them and felt homesick. There's all the little people in the houses. Some are being tucked in, some are cooking, some are playing in their doll house. I can do without hair, she said, but I wish my little girl were with me. Gently the wind rocked the princess until she drifted off to sleep. She floated like a leaf through the night. The princess awoke to the sound of a little girl's voice. What a pretty paper doll. Too bad they forgot to give it hair. She didn't forget, the princess wanted to say, but the little girl's thumb was pressed over her mouth. You can see right there, there's her. The girl took a pen out of her pocket, scribbled on the princess's head and frowned. Ah, she said, green hair. I thought that was my yellow pen. Now it looks worse. Before the princess could say a word, the girl crumpled her up and threw her into the garbage can. Ooh, before you crumple up your work, you should think, oh, what could I do with that? What could we have done with green hair? Maybe she could have been a mermaid or something different. The princess wanted to cry. Green hair is all right, she thought. She didn't have to crumple me. Help! The princess cried to shout, but only a muffled squeak came out. She tried to jump out of the garbage can, but was too tightly crumpled to move. Children came and went, throwing trash on top of her. A jay came pecking for food. How lucky! A buttery bread crust, the jay squawked. How sweet! An apple core, the jay pecked at the princess. How handy! A fat wad of paper. I'll shred it to pieces and weave it into my nest. Ooh, uh-oh. Bird, don't shred me, the princess squeaked as the jay flew off with her. Smooth me out so I can see the sun and fly above the lovely world and find the little girl who made me. What's this? The jay wooed, wondered, hearing the princess. Some little creature must have caught in this paper. Back at her nest, the jay smoothed out the paper and saw the princess. My gracious, she cried. Who are you? I'm a princess, said the princess. The jay brushed a speck of tuna fish from the princess's face. Poor princess, all wrinkled and scribbled green hair. Let's cover it with something warm and soft. 
She pulled a little real hair from the nest and stuck it onto the princess's head with sap. How pretty you look, the jay remarked. And as she brushed the princess's hair with a feather, is there anything else you would like? I'd like to find the little girl who made me, said the princess. Where does she live? asked the jay. The princess tried to remember. She lives near a tree with a swing, not far from a meadow and a river and a carnival. Do you think we could find her? Those aren't very good directions, are they? We can try, said the jay. I'll carry you with my feet. Hold on tight. Away they flew out past the town, over the carnival, over the river. There they are, flying. They saw many little girls, but they didn't see the one who made the princess. <clears throat> At length, the jay stopped to rest. I'm getting tired, she said, and I better get back to my nest. Why don't you come home with me? Thanks, replied the princess. Thanks for everything you've done, but I'll keep looking for my little girl. Good luck, the jay said softly, and she hugged the princess goodbye. I hope we meet again, called the princess as the jay rose into the sky. I hope I find my girl, she thought. You can see the princess on one side is not drawn on yet. She's still blank. As she fluttered down to the meadow and landed beside a little boy. The boy's face was sweet but sad. What's the matter, asked the princess. I drew a picture of the meadow and I flew away, said the boy. Could you draw another picture like it, asked the princess. I don't have any more paper, said the boy, and it's getting dark. The princess had an idea. My other side's blank, she said. You could draw on it. That wouldn't hurt you, asked the boy. No, said the princess, I'm paper. Just don't crumple me up if you don't like your picture. I won't, said the boy, and he began to draw. The picture is for my sister, the boy told the princess. Today is her birthday. What's a birthday, asked the princess. It's the day you were born, the boy exclaimed, the day you came into the world. My birthday was yesterday, <laughs> the princess said. A little girl drew me and cut me out. I want to get home to her. I'll help you find her. What does she look like? She has brown hair and friendly face, the princess said. My sister has brown hair, the boy replied, and she's unusually friendly. She fed me a cracker, the princess added, and she loves to draw. My sister loves to draw, the boy said the boy as he carried the princess home, and I think she would love you. Oh, nice brother. You should always be nice to your brothers and sisters. He opened the door to the house. Happy birthday, he called to his sister, handing her a picture of the princess. What a beautiful picture, the princess said, but why is it shaped like... She turned the princess over. My princess, she cried, it's you. You gave the princess a kiss. She gave the princess a kiss. It's you, cried the princess, trembling with joy. Happy birthday. Where have you been, asked the little girl. Where did you find real hair? The princess told her the story about the search for the hair and the Ferris wheel and the lonely night and the scribble girl and the helpful Jay and the journey back to her brother in the meadow and home to the little girl. While she listened, the girl made the princess a paper crown and a cozy bed and an elephant ride and a banjo to play and a brother to play with and a sweater to wear when she was out flying. Here, there, everywhere, and home again. And there she is with her brother on the Ferris wheel. So I hope you're being kind to your siblings and we miss you and I hope you like my story. Bye-bye.